The consistency of shell middens could tell you a lot about the diet and the coastal ecology based on the shells, bones, broken pottery, and even weapons found in shell middens, you could learn a lot about what was going on here thousands of years ago. For instance, Galveston Bay is brackish, which means the salinity level goes up or down depending on the rivers, the rain, or saltwater inundation from the Gulf of Mexico. And that salinity level has changed drastically over time. Depending on the amount of freshwater clams found in the shell middens or oyster shells, you can really tell what the salinity was like. Oysters really love salt water, and freshwater clams obviously love fresh water. You may be asking, why am I just walking around and not showing you any shell middens? Well, it is notoriously difficult to find shell middens here on Galveston Island. One reason being, when Native Americans would stack up these shells to create a midden, that would be right along the edge of the water of Galveston Bay. Over the past few hundred or thousand years, coastal erosion has taken a toll, washing away tons of shell middens here along the bay side. But another reason has to do with the population growth of Galveston in the late 1800s. Galveston's early roads were simply made of sand, considering this is just a barrier island in the first place. But after heavy rains, horses and carriages would get stuck in that sand. I'm gonna hide behind this tree to get out of the wind. Before wooden block or brick roads were installed in Galveston, the next logical choice would be rocks or oyster shell. Now, Galveston doesn't have many rocks. I mean, it's literally a sandy sandbar, and sourcing rocks from off the island would have been expensive. But what Galveston did have were thousands of years worth of shell middens all along Galveston Bay. So from the mid to late 1800s, many of the shell middens all along Galveston Bay were relocated to Galveston streets. Now, of course, there are definitely remnants of shell middens on Galveston Island today. Due to development and erosion, they are just much harder to find. Now, during construction projects all over the island over the past two centuries, shell middens have been uncovered. Countless artifacts have been unintentionally redistributed all over the island and the state of Texas.